The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. Well, have you ever felt like you lived in a zoo before? Uh, if you haven't, you should start feeling that way. You got a camera on every street corner. And now they got a new technology camera. It's infrared. Shows your total body heat. And can detect anything that's on your body or your person at any given time. Uh, it could be anything from... It doesn't matter what it is. As long as it blocks body heat. You could be suspected as a criminal, gun carrier, whatever. Whatever they want to stick on you. A drug runner. Uh, anything that comes. Hmm. It doesn't really matter, does it? It's just another right. I mean, it's like the people that's going to say in this video. It's just, as long as it protects me, I don't care. Well, y'all keep on saying I don't care, okay? Because I guarantee you, you will care because you're going to be in that zoo that you think that you don't live in yet. You're going to be in a zoo. You better hope and pray that they don't allow this, but they ain't going to allow it. They're just going to do it. They're already doing it. They pretty much say that. So, I want all you people out there that that do subscribe to my channel or try to and can't I wanted you to see this, this is some more information a uh, bunch of different links I'll post them in the bottom you can go and look for yourself uh, there's a video clip here at the end and uh, you can listen to that as well um, hopefully it'll be okay and it'll pass on through but you never know all depends on what uh, YouTube and them won't say because uh, the one video I put out about Ron Paul and I made clips on it I hadn't done again uh, it still doesn't show everything it's supposed to show I might have to stop recording here and put a little clip in there and show you in fact I may do that here just before the other because this video is not going to be that long uh, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, it's been on for about a week and it still don't have the hookup links in it. Tell you where it's at, where it's been, how many people shared it and all that. It's got, you know, two or three days ago showing a share. But, you know, it, I don't know folks, but whatever's going on going on we gotta deal with it the way it's going um, this is information is kind of disturbing um, it's not uh, it's not any good news be nice to be able to get in here and and really give some good news about some constitutional rights being upheld and it uh, not being floundered and kicked around and kicked under the the desk and, and all that stuff which has been done for so many years that nobody even knows yeah, they don't even teach to our kids in school anymore I mean they don't teach them nothing about history the history anymore is just eh, goes back maybe to the Vietnam War even if it goes back that far anymore that's when my kids went to school uh, and they were little then so they ain't no telling I hope y'all enjoyed that stuff but uh, here's the video I was telling y'all about okay now y'all know that it's been on since the 13th and you see in the graph there generally you get those little lines to go up and give you A, B, C, D, E and F and then underneath it tells you all the people that have linked up and subscribed up to it and everything. Well, that's not there. Well, it's been a, it's been a while now. A long while. Uh, it's, what, the 18th? It's done on the 13th. It's been more than two days. Um, 
I'm not complaining, I'm just showing the situation of what's going on. And here you go here. You see how many times it's been shared, it says 102. I know better than that. But it's only showing two days. Showing the 13th, 14th, and the 15th. Uh, well, that's the 18th. And on top of that, I think, don't think they're showing the exact truth about that either. <coughs> but here in a second, I'm on the, this is another video, another name, another different video. But you're going to, you can see in the video that uh, it goes up. And, well, no, this is actually the same same video but here I'm showing you the the very beginning video or not the very beginning but one that, that actually shows you the parts so where it says all the ABC and all that stuff okay they created that they actually made it flatline if you can see it's it flatlined we go over here now we're gonna go to shares it's got 1,121 shares. I think we're going to go back to the video here in just a second. Or the views. Send me views it's got. Oh man. It's got more shares than it's got views. Explain that to me people. It's got 1,300 shares. But it's only got 395 views. Um... Wouldn't you say that that might be something wrong? Wouldn't you say that might be something wrong with that? But anyway, I just wanted to show it to you. Enjoy the next clip. Uh, much love to y'all. Heads up. Have a great afternoon. About it. Could soon be getting a virtual pat down as you walk down the street and not even know about it. The NYPD is testing new technology that would secretly scan pedestrians for weapons. CBS2's Hazel Sanchez shows us why privacy advocates say this crosses the line. As you walk the streets of the Big Apple, the city has its eye on you. There are a lot of cameras already here. So as people walk, they're being filmed, and most of the time they don't know it. And now the NYPD is researching new technology that can scan pedestrians without their knowledge. It's part of the battle against illegal guns. And if it's going to make us safer as citizens, I'm okay with that. It's called terahertz imaging detection. This scanner, mounted on a police vehicle, can measure energy radiating from a body up to 16 feet away and can detect and outline anything blocking it, like the gun in this image. You can use it at a, uh, at a specific uh, event. You could use it at, let's say, a uh, shooting uh, prone location. Police Commissioner Ray Kelly says the scanner would only be used in reasonably suspicious circumstances and could cut down on the number of stops and frisks. But the New York Civil Liberties Union is raising a red flag. It's worrisome. Um, it implicates privacy, the right to walk down the street without being subjected to a virtual pat down by the police department when you're doing nothing wrong. I don't agree with it. I I adhere to the belief that if you forego some of your freedom, then it's not freedom at all. It's definitely a privacy issue, but uh, again, I mean, it's, it's for our safety, so, you know, it's just one of those things, a double-edged sword, you know. Before they use the terahertz scanner, the NYPD would like it to be more portable and have a greater detection range. That could take months or even years. In lower Manhattan, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. And the Defense Department is also looking into this technology to detect suicide bombers who might be wearing explosives.